Hello there everybody, this is Graham, also known as The Collector 75. Welcome to another Transformers Generation 1 video. Uh, this one is um, quite a figure that is actually very, very special to me, really. This is a Generation 1 Prowl. And the reason why it's so special to me, this is probably one of the first Transformers I ever bought. Um, not that exactly this particular toy itself. Uh, this is another one that I bought a few years ago, but my original Prowl, um, I played with to death and it broke at the windshield where every nearly toy of this kind breaks. Um, I think um, it broke in a few other places. I broke one of these off. Um, the wear on it was unbelievable. The stickers wore down everything. It was, it was loved and it was played with to death. Um, but there we go. <clears throat> right, um... Now, this one, I actually, a lot I say, I actually, yeah, this is probably like the third Transform I ever got. I think we got Soundwave, and then my brother bought me Megatron, and then he said I could have another one. And so I picked Prowl. Um, yeah. Now, this one, I actually got probably from um, my shop that I used to buy them all from in Shepparton a very long time ago. Uh, cause I can't think where else I could have got it from. I could have got it from eBay, possibly. Um, but I don't think so. Uh, when I did get it, and it was only a few years after I noticed, I actually noticed that <clears throat> this one is a, kind of a rollover from the old Diaclone days because it does have the Diaclone sticker on him there. Um, it doesn't have one there. If that's going to zoom in on that. Uh, but it does have one on the other side. So this is kind of a mixture. They must have just had some old stock of the old stickers or something and just used them on this one. Um, <clears throat> and so it makes it kind of kind of rare, I suppose, or I don't know. Anyway, but it's a cool, it's a cool toy. This it is, uh, I think he's a Nissan Fair Lady Z um, police type. And he's great. He plays so well. I had so much fun with this when I was a kid. Um, I did love Prowl. I have no idea why I wanted Prowl, really. I think it's because um, he comes with these missiles, obviously, and I thought they were drills for some reason, so I thought that would be quite handy. You could use them as drill drill people. Don't ask me. I was a nine-year-old at the time. <coughs> um, or ten, just turned, I suppose. Um, anyway, he's got rubber tyres. He rolls exceptionally well, even though he is, like, 30-odd years old himself. Uh, obviously, this mould is almost probably, well, I'm sure they were around 1978. I don't know what the earliest date stamp on this is. Um, we got 1980. I don't know if that's going to come out too well there. We got 1980. So that is coming up for nearly 40 years. Um, you know, so it's quite an old toy, really. Uh, right, anyway, let's uh, transform this guy. Now, you'd probably see my review on Blue Streak that I did. Uh, <clears throat> So he's got exactly the same transformation, and I loved it, but I never realised, sort of like back at then, that in them days, that, you know, like we have today, um, oh yeah, I've got to do that panel, haven't I? Come out. Yes, you know, like today we have, uh, we moan about recolours of certain figures and everything like that, and you know, and all that sort of stuff. I never realised back in the day that they did it right at the start. You know, because um, obviously <laughs> these guys, you had Bra Prowl, Blue Streak, and <coughs> Sun uh, Smoke Screen, and then obviously with the Decepticon Seekers, you know. But there we go. I never noticed, and I put up with it, and it didn't bother me, to be honest. Uh, certainly not when you're a kid, anyway. <coughs> oh, pardon me. All right, so that is him in his robot mode. Um, now, he does have an exceptionally loose, loose arm there, um, but he looks pretty pretty good. I had lots of fun with this when I was a kid. Um, he does need some new stickers. Um, I've got a few reissues of this. I think that's probably why I've never retro-labeled this guy up. Um, and plus, he's got the um, Diaclone stickers on there, so I wanted to keep this guy as original as I could. I don't know. I may still have my original Prowl somewhere. Um, you can um, armor him up, arm him up even. Now uh, these just fit into the side of his head, just like that. And he looks pretty cool. I like Prowl. I do. I did. I tell you what I did. I did like him in that story from the first annual uh, Plague of the Insecticons, whatever it was, because he featured in that. And I did like Prowl in that. Um, that's what I loved about G1, um, especially the early days of G1, uh, was these figures. And these figures had prominent 
parts to play in all the stories. As it moved on um, through the years, and we got all the weirdos like the special teams and the headmasters and everything. You saw less and less of all these really cool G1 figures um, and characters. I mean, it's always a shame, really, because they were fantastic. Um, I tell you what, I did like. I did like as well. I don't know if anyone remembers the. Um, what's it called? The. What was it called? Oh my god, the, the little books, the adventure game books. There was one featuring Starscream on Bombshell. I cannot remember. Sank from the Stars or something like that. Um, you know, you had to choose which way you were going to go, whether you were going to go up the stairs, turn the page, what's it, what's it. Oh, uh, don't go down the stairs, turn the page, what's it, what's it, you know. And they were great because it featured Starscream and Bombshell and everything like that. And there was a few others. I think I had all of them in the end. But they were great. I loved those early days of G1. Growing up and everything. Um, that's why I love these G1 figures. You know, you cannot go wrong with them, if you want my opinion. They're a great way to start collecting. Um, so much better than some of the Generations line, if you want my opinion. If you can find a good one, in good condition and everything, you can't go wrong. Because everybody knows they've got bad articulation. He's got no articulation in his legs. He's got none at all. His arms have got more articulation, that's right. His head ain't going to turn. But everybody knows that. Rather than a Generations figure, these days you expect all this stuff. And then when it don't, you're always disappointed. And then when it does or it don't want to stand up because of it, you're really even more disappointed and all that. You didn't get that with G1. You were just disappointed in the articulation full stop. And if you got any, say like with um, Perceptor, wow, you think, well, Jesus Christ, that's great. But, you know, that was G1. And that was why I liked it. And probably why the majority of people liked it back in the day. Uh, right, anyway, uh, this has been Graham, the Collector 75. I hope you like this video, um, and I'm going to see you all next time. Uh, bye for now.